Oh, well, so I just want to assure anybody who hasn't done anything like this before that it's like, it's mostly about being aware in our own bodies and doing these really simple movements. And a lot of them we do during the day without any, you know, like standing up and sitting down or, you know, just all the stepping or whatever, but we bring a whole lot of awareness to these really basic things. And then there's a lot of, um, you know, haiku, walking into haiku kinds of moves that are more... Uh, you know, have more to them than that, but it's it's really mostly about being present with ourselves about our own body. Like the first point I want to make uh, just is like the word ahimsa that's from Sanskrit that you probably have heard from uh, from Gandhi or whatever, non-harming. Like that is our main thing to keep in mind here. Whatever I say to you about moving your body, like listen to your own body a little bit more than you listen to me and don't do anything that hurts. Like what we're doing is really gentle, but uh, people can get a little excited in a, in a group and lose contact with their own body. So I just want to make sure everybody, you know, cue us a lot to come back in uh, to be centered that way. So, yeah, I just wanted to say a couple things before we start into moving about um, this uh, going through the seasons, uh, it's the same as as the Chinese medicine uh, principles that there are, uh, you know, there's a, a time of the year that there's a particular element, there's a particular organ system, um, and a lot of other correspondences that go along with that, that I'll just be weaving in a little bit. But it goes throughout the year that there's, uh, you know, systems in our body that can benefit from being supported a little bit. Um, there's emotional uh, dimensions to it, like which emotions tend to be more present and need a little more metabolizing. So, um, yeah, uh, the, the, you know, the main things to say first off, uh, and, and it'll be incorporated into some of the moves, is that um, the, the, uh, there's five elements in, in Chinese medicine. So it's, it's not like in Buddhism, there's four elements. Uh, it, fire, water, earth, and air. And in Chinese medicine, there's no air. There's two other elements. One is wood, that's what's connected to the spring season. And the other is metal that's connected to the fall. Um, so yeah, the, the, the wood element and doing things that remind us of the plants and what they're doing at this time of year and the, the connection with the earth and the uh, you know the sun and the, the air and all of that, just uh, using those as reminders for ourselves about our own constant exchange with energy. So the wood element, the uh, the organ system is the, the liver, uh, which is like a organ of assimilation. And also like it decides, uh, no, we don't want that. Get that out of here. Like it, it's, uh, it's deciding what to take into our bodies and what to release from our bodies. And the emotion uh, that goes along with the liver that can be a little challenging is anything on the spectrum of uh, irritation, frustration, anger, or murderous rage, or whatever <laughs> have you, just anything along that spectrum. So when you hear me talking about in some of the moves about moving those things along, metabolize, meta metabolizing those things, um, yeah, those are, those are the basic things. So yeah, we're going to be working to strengthen, uh, especially at this time of year, like the, the, the uh, parts of the body that are most in need and most open to being strengthened and made more flexible is the sinew in the body, all the connective tissue in the body. So we'll be doing some things around that too. It's just the, all the connective tissues that stabilize our muscles and therefore stabilize our spine. So anyway, you'll hear me cueing a lot of things like that. I just wanted to give an overview. Um, yeah. So let's stand up, and uh, we're going to need to make some lines here with you know enough space so the people it's like uh, like not a circle, but lined up so you guys are facing me. So yeah, and then we'll we'll come back and sit, but you know just leaving a channel here so they can see me but no you're all right to be in it they they just need yeah so is is everybody feeling like they have enough yeah i mean some people can come a little closer too and make a little room so is there not enough space here 
Trust you're good. I mean, if you can, but you're, you're going to want to be facing me. So one of the things I want to make sure for the people in the room is that like, I'm going to be cueing you to say left or right. It's going to be mirror, but it's important so that we're not like knocking our knuckles into each other because somebody's doing left and somebody's doing right. Okay. Yeah. So we just, Why again? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Line dance position. Daniel just said, Okay, so just coming into uh, the standing posture and just awareness of, again, our connection with the earth, just the soles of the feet. Um, yeah, if people are at home, uh, helpful to not have your shoes on, just be able to feel the connection a little bit more with the earth. And just bringing our uh, hands overlapped at the belly here for a moment, just a uh, energy center of our body, the Dantian, the uh, place where we store energy and uh, the geographic center of our body where we, we uh, gain balance with our perspective, our attention being in this area of the body. So just feeling a Awareness of the breath coming in and the breath going out. Just a sense of being rooted down through the earth, especially in this spring season. Feeling our roots down through the soles of the feet. And at the same time as we were doing sitting, it's just a feeling of lifting up through the trunk, through the torso, up through the crown of the head, just a gentle, like maybe imperceptible to somebody looking, but just a sense of lifting up through the center line of the body and settling and releasing any muscle effort we don't need just now. And if, you, if it feels okay, like you can try closing your eyes. And you might notice just a natural sort of swaying that happens. Uh, maybe not, you know, but you might find your body just naturally having a little rhythm of swaying. Just allowing that to happen if it's happening. I like to call that standing like bamboo. Ah, all right, so I'm releasing the hands here. Just do a gentle rocking. Uh, actually, just taking a look down, You, whatever way you were standing, you probably did something that you felt like was even and just looking down at your feet and it's like, Oh, are they even, <laughs> are they where, where they thought, where I thought they were? Yeah. So just rocking over the soles of the feet gently. Uh, you can go to your off balance point. If you want, just find out what happens when you go a little towards your toes, a little back to the heels, just rocking over the soles of the feet. We're just waking up the, all the lines, the energy lines that run through the lower body here. You can go up on the toes, rock a little more back on the heels. Just letting the weight of the body sort of massage the bottoms of the feet a little. All right, and we'll add a little hand motion with this. So as we go up towards the toes, lifting the hands in front and then floating them back as we go back on the heels. So breathing in as we Lift, breathing out as we float down and back. So with this, with that little bit of space through the fingers, that little bit of rocking through the bottoms of the feet, we're waking up all the energy lines that run through the hands, through the feet, all the meridian lines. Ah. 
Okay, and we'll add another movement here that's going to be uh, going to start differently, but end with what we were just doing. So this is welcoming the spring. So with the backs, the palms together, just opening up towards the heavens and floating back down and rocking back onto our heels a little and up on our toes and floating down. Yeah, so anytime we start to wobble because our balance, we're searching for our balance, it's like we're where our brains are rewiring balance every time that happens so we can feel like, oh, I'm not balanced, but we're actually it's part of the work. So again, lifting up through the center line, opening to the heaven, and floating down, rocking back on the heels, coming up on the toes, and then floating down, welcoming the spring. And a couple more. And floating down, rocking back, coming up on the toes and floating down. And one more. Rocking back and up and floating down. Just Move over a little bit to get in a better line here. Okay, just making sure these guys can see us online. So um, we're going to, uh, there's like three main energy centers in the body, the dantian below the navel, the heart, and the third eye. So we're just going to do a simple movement at each of those levels and just opening those energy centers. So just breathing in as we... Open out at the belly center. We'll do three of those. Give the feeling of rocking forward a little bit as we open and rocking back as we close. One more. And coming up to the heart level and opening. Well, generally, the breath in as we open and breath out as we bring the palms back towards each other and lifting up to the third eye area, breathing in, opening. That's just clear space, clear seeing. Okay, releasing that and floating the hands back down. And let's just pause for a moment and coming back into this neutral posture. And the posture before we start left, right, up, down, just the, everything at rest, unified. So anytime we come out of the motion, any amount that you like can really release the effort of what we just did. Like there's another part of the training that we're activating and then deactivating as much as we can start to be aware and allow that to happen more fully. <clears throat> so let's just open a little bit more through the upper body here. We're gonna do sort of corkscrew move, uh, rounding the back and then Breathing in as we draw the elbows back and gently opening up through the front of the body. So breath out as we corkscrew forward and breath in as we come back. And a few more of those. Just feeling a really gentle mobilization through the chest. No strain, just easy, enjoyable movement. Okay, good. And releasing that. So wood, wood element move here. We're especially, uh, you know, activating the lower body and our connection, our roots. Uh, so it's just very simple. Like uh, one of the principles in Tai Chi Qigong, 
when you bend your knees, you don't ever want it to be out further than your toes. Like you should just be able to see your toes right over the edge. And if you want something more vigorous for your body, you can always take a wider stance and then you can move up and down a little bit more. So there's, I'll cue us a little bit through, throughout if somebody wants a little more energetic feel to it. Um, but just making sure that you're not corking your knees by having them extended out too far. So anyway, it's just a simple move of lifting up as we gently squat and coming back. And especially, uh, it's like pumping the energy up through the lower body, just feeling our connection with the earth. People might recognize this is like the beginning of some Tai Chi forms. <laughs> Do one more of these. All right, coming back to stillness. Releasing the muscle effort. We'll bring the feet a little bit closer. Or all the way close if you want. So uh, we'll be putting one hand uh, switching back and forth as we do this move. You're supporting the, the kidney in the back, actually, the kidneys. Um, and one hand on our upper chest here, and we're just gently spiraling towards, we're all going to the right here. And then we release the hands out to the sides. And with the hand supporting in back, we're gently twisting and looking over the other side. So we're just starting to mobilize this central central area, like we're giving our organs a really gentle, nice massage by doing this. So dragon spiraling up a pillar going towards the right. Releasing. And towards the left. So there's a little dip here as we uh, release a little dip in the knees and then straightening up again. So just seeing what uh, how that feels to just get that little bit of twist through the spine. And kind of wringing out the organs a little bit. Uh, just gently mobilizing things here. Drag and spiraling up a pillar. Nice. And one more on each side. All right, and releasing, letting the muscle effort relax. Coming back to our center posture here. You know, maybe about shoulder width apart. You can uh, play around with it and see what, what feels most comfortable to your body. For some people, it might be a little more narrow or a little more wide. And some moves, we intentionally stand wider or narrower. But yeah, just check in with your own body about what works for you. So warming up our palms. Just feeling that heat energy in the palms. Warmth. And just bringing them to face towards each other here. Relaxing the arms and just seeing what do you notice in the palms? Or between the palms. <laughs> Anybody else feeling that energy that this was named? Yeah. Okay, and then we'll just gently float the hands apart. And back towards each other. And again, so breathing in as we draw them apart, breathing out as we bring them back towards each other. It's the, it has a lot of different names in different forms, but I really like the name, the breathing of the universe. So we're imagining we're drawing energy in from every part of the body, every pore as we open, and then releasing anything that's been a little 
stuck or stagnant on the breath out, drawing healing energy in, releasing anything that needs to move on out. This is a move that you can do anytime, no matter how you feel, if you got the flu or whatever, and you can't even get out of bed. This is one where you can just start to reconnect with the energies around and within us, letting things start to metabolize if they've gotten a little log jammed. Breath in, drawing in from every cell, from every pore, breath out, releasing every part of the body. A couple more. Okay. And then a variation on that. You can maybe have a little wider stance and we're gonna open really wide. Watch out for your partners. You don't hit knuckles. It's coming back in with a little dip. Uh, the name I saw of this, I always think must be a funny translation of Chinese. I saw it translated as the big guy. <laughs> so just really letting yourself uh, you know, fill your body with energy and beyond that you become the big guy. Um. Some other friends joining us there. Hello, <laughs> people who just got here. <laughs> Seeing a little wave from Keeney there. One more. All right. So in general, if it works for for your knees, like when we're doing movements, um, that it's it's our knees and legs that are doing doing the work rather than bending out over the center of the body. So um, just another one of the basic principles that uh, the horse riding stance is like, you know, a wider, more vigorous stance, but it's like, uh, it, you know, at all times that we're, um, the upper body is like the rider on the horse and the lower body is doing the movement. So the upper body is not leaning out over the lower body. So it'll become more clear in some of these other other moves as we do this too. So let's warm our hands up again. This felt like mine were getting a little cool. All right, this time we're gonna hold our energy ball in this direction. And following that upper elbow, we're gonna go over to the to the right with the energy ball and then releasing it, reforming it and coming back across. So again, we're getting that nice little bit of massage in the middle of the body here, all the organs. So this is the, the dragon's pearl, the dragon carrying the pearl of wisdom. So feeling that flow, once the hands feel comfortable, then you can Really start to let the lower body be, uh, you know, it's the flowing back and forth, the weight shifts, just enjoying that sense of flow through the lower body. And one more in each direction here. Okay, releasing that and coming back to center again here. So, um, this machine's gonna be a little in the way here for a second. So we're just gonna do some gentle uh, mobilizing through the shoulders here. So we'll do some shoulder circles. Just really enjoying 
luxuriating in the move so that it is what feels really good for your body to get it going. If you have uh, places where you go click, 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 click every time you come around a certain area, I mean, it's no big deal. It's just, it, but it isn't a good sign that, uh, you know, when you're home by yourself, you know, you might want to really slow it down, make a smaller circle and find out, well, where do I not click? You know, how slow do I have to go not to click? Oh, uh, thank you, Noam. <laughs> All right, and we're going to add another little circling down here to the legs, up around the hips here. So we're activating the shoulders, but also sending the energy through the whole body down to the earth, drawing back up. All right. So pausing for a moment before circling the shoulders the other way. And as we're doing these things, you can have this little bit of uh, movement through the lower body, through the knees. There's a sense of like lengthening up through the spine and settling as we do these movements for particular parts of the body, but it can... Uh, activate everything. So massaging down and back up. All right, good. Ah, and just seeing how your body feels this morning, like a little reach down the outside of the leg and down the other side. How does that feel? What feels like the right amount to you? Don't, no need to overdo. Okay, this is another one for just connecting us with the earth, our roots with the earth. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, but this time with the hand overhead and reaching down that leg to a really comfortable, easy uh, spot here. Taking a breath and then just going an inch further and holding it for a second and then releasing, going back up on the breath in and breath out as we reach down the leg. Find a really, really comfortable, not challenging stretch here. Breath in. And then go one inch further, hold it for a second, and coming back up. If that's a very specific uh, name to it for its, its uh, function in uh, Eastern medicine here, this is called lowering the head to cool the heart fire. Uh, breath out. Taking another nice breath in, feeling those ribs going a little further, holding for a second, and coming back up. Reaching up and breathing out as we find that very comfortable spot. And then breath in, and a little further. And last one on the other side. Breath in, feeling those ribs. And breath out as we go a little further and come back up. All right, good. Ah. So um, we've been doing a lot to feel our grounding. Let's just reach up a little bit. Another wood element movement. Just reaching up one side and the other. Snake. Climbing up the tree, reaching for the heavens again, very gently, not overdoing anything for the, the back or the sides. Uh, 
and our face and releasing that. So yeah, a lot of these kinds of practices, it's like the, the, the smaller the movement with the more awareness um, actually starts to signal our body like, oh, this is totally safe. My nervous system can really calm down. She's not gonna do anything crazy here. Um, so just doing less and feeling our way into it can actually open up a whole, uh, you know, other other comfort in our body, you know, our body being tr trusting us, trusting that we're we're moving in a safe way. So let's see, let's uh, just shake out for a minute. We've been doing a lot of slow stuff, just shaking out through the wrists and through the elbows and getting the shoulders going, moving the neck a little bit, feeling that upper spine, the middle back here, down through the hips and down through the legs and the feet and then doing your own favorite dance that I have come to refer to as the ancient sacred hippie dance. Ah, okay, <laughs> coming back to stillness. Ah, so when we've been stirring stuff up and you come back into stillness, you might feel like more movement inside. Just noticing that, seeing what you feel coming into stillness. Ah, right. So, um, yeah, definitely being careful of people at home, making sure you have room near your furniture. You're not going to wrap your knuckles into anything and making sure we're okay with each other here. We're going to do a gentle twist here, letting the arms slap lightly into the front and back of the body. So we're waking up the organs in there just by giving them a little cueing. All right, and uh, coming up across the upper lung. Just reminding our body of its lung capacity. Use a little bit more. And coming across the opposite shoulder, especially the place where the neck and shoulder connect, gets all kind of bunched up there from all our computering and all of that. Letting that loosen up. And then coming right into the, uh, this C7 here is the big vertebrae that sticks out the most. Just a really light slap. It's a immune system wake up. Okay, good. And again, just coming back to stillness after activating. See what what we notice now. Ah. Let's just tap lightly across the chest as we breathe in. Then a little more vigor as we exhale. A little cleanse for the lungs. Again. And a little massage at the belly. Little Circles is swarming everything up in there. And then with this inner surface of the hands here, right at the base of the ribs there, massaging kidneys right under there, warming those up. 
And leaning forward just slightly from the waist and tapping gently. Okay, good. Um, and then dropping the pulse. We're just going to go up and drop on our heels. Good thing there's nobody downstairs from us. And so just waking up skeleton spirit. One more. Ah, good. All right. Oh, just uh, taking a little inspiration from the trees. Uh, just we're going to do a motion that goes uh, back and forth here, just flowing with the body. And we're just gently helping a little bit more to wake up all those connector tissues that stabilize all our joints. And once you got the feel for that, then just open it up into a little bit more improv here for yourself. Like, got your roots down into the earth, and you're just moving like a, your tree, and whatever kinds of winds are coming, maybe it's pretty still winds for you for a moment, or maybe it's really wild out there for a minute, and just the whole sense of adjusting to whatever comes, being... Rooted, but flexible. Whatever direction. Nice. <laughs> All right, and you start to see probably from having your hands up a while, like just holding the weight of our own limbs can be a little workout for the muscles here. So, oh, well, gently. Float back down, coming back to stillness. Ah. All right. So a little energetic one. Um, this is kind of like the green dragon leaves the water in our Tai Chi form, um, but with a to it. So we're coming back into the corner here with our hands. I'll just demonstrate it for a moment. Just gathering the energy and then up into that other corner, releasing. Okay, so um, we're all going to go. We're going to gather on our left and go to our right. Okay, so gathering and it's nice. Okay, <laughs> gathering yes. once more <laughs> and releasing. Now we'll gather on the other side. Okay, coming back to a rest here. Ah. All right, so um, just do a little, one more energizing thing before we stop, and I just want to see if people have questions or whatever before we... Uh, Take a few minutes for a sit here. Um, so uh, just with the energy swings here as you letting yourself bend your knees as you come down, inhaling and with a vigorous exhale through the nose. You kind of get your diaphragm to work. <laughs> Just lets the air come in more easily after we've breathed it out this way. Okay, and we'll go towards one side releasing and towards the other side releasing. Another immune system booster. One more on each side. Coming back to the center. And five, four, three, 
two, pausing at the top on one, and we'll float down. And breath in. Turning the palms over, and we'll do a sort of swimming motion on the breath out. One more. Okay, gathering the left and right together. It's feeling the connection between two sides of the body here, and we'll do a little bow. Um, I just wanted to pause for if there's any questions or comments or, or anybody online, just feel free to unmute and jump in if you had something that you wanted to oh, as soon as Noam makes it so you can't unmute. <laughs> uh, um, Kitty? Hi, Jamie. Hi. Thank you for this. Um, Whenever I try Qigong, my feet end up really hurting. Have any suggestions for that? Ah, uh, like what? What are you? What are you feeling in your feet? Well, um, I guess it's sort of in the center, like in my arch. Mm. It's just they get just really tired of of standing, and the pain gets worse and worse. Yeah, I mean, you know, anybody can feel free to to sit during any part of this too. I should have said that earlier on, um, and and let your lower body have a rest and do the hand movement. Okay. Um, you need a chair that doesn't have arms, um, but uh, also like, I mean, you know, all those things about taking a ball and rolling. Yeah. Do you know that you have a series like that? Like we've studied with the same Pilates person for a yeah. long time. Um, like you might want to do that before and before qigong session and see if it helps. Okay. That relieves it. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, there's actually stuff that can, I, I mean, it can be a result of something's actually strengthening too. Mm. Um, so feeling into that, um, like you don't want to do it so much that it's like cramping or something, but yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Important. Our feet <laughs> as part of this thank are you. so important. Thank you, Kimi. Yeah, any other thoughts? Unless you challenge basically you're keeping the feet flat, right? Yeah, yeah. So the, the question was uh you know, if we're not cueing something else, do we keep our feet flat? And yeah, that's that's correct. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Anything else that's coming up for people or Hi. I was I was thinking that it's uh, very gentle. It's a lot gentler than I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more vigorous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. It's great. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it. You can do things in ways that make it more more vigorous, which some people might want that <laughs> so but yeah it's very adjustable that way so good i'm glad it's working for you mary beth I'm, it's really good thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, well so let's let's just uh do a sit for about five minutes after we've been doing this moving you might notice what happens for your body now when you come into stillness uh, ideally when we're sitting we want to uh, be like not not a uh, uh, rounded back into a chair, like you know, sitting on a chair, like ideally uh, a little toward the, either the front of the chair or your butt scooched really far back. But the whole point of like your spine actually being stacked each part on itself, like there's a, a huge health benefit from just sitting with your spine holding its own weight. Um, is something that our bodies uh, crave that we don't get to do very often in, in our um, chair sitting world <laughs> here. So, yeah. 
if you need more support at any point, you know, or you, it's, there's something about holding your body that way that, that doesn't feel right, then, you know, by any, by all means, just adjust as you need to, but I'll we'll just come into stillness here for a few minutes. We're letting go of the muscle effort associated with all the movements as best we can. Opening the eyes and the jaw. Don't have to do any looking just now. Don't have to do any chewing, talking, all those things the jaw does. And opening down through the chest and the belly. Feeling the way the breath is moving. It's own rhythm and pace. No need to make it any particular kind of breath. Just a kind attention to what's happening in our bodies.
No, I'm often really impressed with how much more uh, easier it is to drop into a little bit of calm and concentration when I've done a little movement. Maybe, you know, people have done yoga and you do corpse pose at the end and maybe find it's easier to drop into a meditative place after you've done some some mindful movement. So, um, so we're going to stand up in a moment, but just wanting that to be a mindful shift in our posture so we get to notice what it's like to stand up. <laughs> So when you're ready, just bringing our weight back up to an upright posture here. <sighs> so yeah, coming back out into our lines here as best we can. Just do a few more things for waking up the lower body. We were a little more working with the upper body here we'll do a few circling moves warming up those palms feeling the energy in the palms and bringing that heat for a moment just uh, letting it rest on that lower back area letting it absorb the energy absorb into the lower back kidney area And we'll do some gentle hip rotations. So more or less keeping the, the head in the same place and letting the hips make the circle and draw a circle. This is sometimes uh, has different names. One of them is uh, Beautiful Lady's Waist. <laughs> oh, let's go the other way. And another one is stirring the soup. <laughs> so whatever image you like for that. Just to open it up, the energy flow a little more between the upper and lower body. Okay, and with the feet closer together and supporting the knees, we'll draw a circle with the knees one direction. And going the other way. This will all be familiar to our Tai Chi crew, <laughs> our warm-ups. Okay, so straightening the knees, not locked, but just straight, and supporting with the palms there, just flattening the back so it's parallel to the earth, and just lengthening through the whole spine, feeling the breath moving through the body in this posture and then squatting part way down and releasing the back, lower back. And again, straightening the knees, flattening the spine, lengthening. And a half squat. Okay, coming on back up, we'll come into our shoulder with stance or what works for you. And we'll do a, draw a little circle again with the knee, but this time getting the hips, the knees, the ankles all active here. Go in the other direction. And shifting the weight to the other side and drawing some circles on this side. The other way. Ah, we'll just feel our standing posture again here. So 
And we'll do a few um, moves that are specifically intended to uh, mobilize, metabolize the emotional energies, everything connected with the liver system. So as I was mentioning at the beginning, anything that's like irritation, frustration, anger, any of those kinds of emotions can uh, use a little, a little more help this time of year to, we're not pushing them away, we're just helping them start to un, unjam and start to, to flow through a little bit more. So the little bit wider stance, uh, you know, if you really want it to be vigorous, you can go really wide and have a you know real horse stance, but somewhere it feels comfortable for you. So we're going to do a kind of exhale and drawing back in with soft fists. So this is called pushing the mountain. So you're using a little effort with it and, and it's a gradual push out. Letting yourself imagine releasing anything that's needing to move on out. Pushing that mountain. Last one. Okay, good. Yeah, so most of the moves, we're not putting a lot of muscle effort into them. We're moving as relaxed as we can. We're, you know, a few of these are really intentionally activating the muscles to do them. So, okay. Um, so this is a, another one for the, for the wood element here. Um, so we're going to bring the backs of the palms together and breathe in down here. And breathing out as we lift up and open all the way out to shoulder height and bringing the hands back to the center. And we inhale as we float down. It's a little different than some moves. So we're inhaling down here and breathing out as we open. Nice, but he's got it coming to the center. Inhaling as we turn over and lower the hands. So we're gonna make the, healing sound for each organ system. There's a different healing sound. So it's shu, S-H-U, so it's in like a breathy sh. So we're inhaling. And as we exhale, sh. Inhaling. And sh. Inhaling. And the last one. Ah, good. So just a couple of uh, moves that that just introduce stepping, uh, which we do all the time without thinking about it, but just bringing a little more awareness. Um, so we're going to angle one foot out at about 45 degrees and let the weight shift onto that foot and step forward with the other heel. We're going to shift the weight forward and back <laughs> and coming back to the center. And then we're going to shift to the other side with the foot angled out. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that. And stepping forward and shifting the weight and back. So this is, again, like we're not going to step like way out so we're torqued out over that knee. Um, we're just doing it so that we'd still be able to see see our, the tips of our toes when we step out. Okay, so stepping forward on one side and rocking the weight forward and rocking the weight back. 
And back to center with that foot angled out, shifting the weight, stepping forward. And yeah, so there's a, a lot of moves uh, that do that. We'll just do a couple of them. Ah, so stepping forward. Uh, and we'll rock the weight forward as we lift the hands and rock back. So we're just going to keep that foot forward. Uh, sometimes if you do these things, you might get into a position where something in your knee or whatever is going click, 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 and you might want to readjust your foot position or something if that's happening. This is uh, the bass drum. Okay, and as we shift the weight back, this time we come back into the center posture, angling that foot out, shifting the weight onto it, stepping forward, and our base drum on this side. And one more. Coming back to the center. So for all of these things, like it can be, uh, you can kind of get mechanical or like a little sing song or whatever. You know, we're, we're doing our best to keep aware in every part of the movement so that it's, uh, so that, that we're with it in each part of it and not just rushing through it. So, um, the same thing, basically, same start to this move. And if this is any problem for anybody's back, then don't worry about leaning over. But if it works for you, we're going to reach down that same move, reach down to the earth, lift up to the heavens, and then washing down through the whole body. It's called the waterfall. So reaching down, and as we lift up, we're inhaling. And then washing down through the whole body as we exhale, just imagine smoothing out, untangling all the energy lines in the body. Breath in. And a waterfall of chi connecting us back to the earth. One more on this side. And being aware of our weight as we shift it back. Coming through center, shifting onto the other side, stepping forward, and reaching down to the earth, lifting up to the heavens as we inhale, and washing down. Breath in as we lift up. And breath out, smoothing, settling. Now, the whole time, the weight stays mostly on that back foot when we're doing this one, if that works for your body. If you're back, you just stand on the ground when it's time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, on this move, yeah. Thank you for that question. Yeah, the back foot stays solid on the ground. Last one. Nice. All right. Feeling the weight shift coming back and then what, what it's like to... Ah, relieve the holding up of on one side to see what it's like to come back, both legs getting to share the weight equally.
So I'll just take a moment to stand like a tree here. Again, if you feel a gentle swaying of any sort, and just letting that happen. Yeah, we'll move towards closing with a move called Heaven and Earth. It's again helping us like the trees to connect our energy from the earth and our energy from the sky, the sun, the, the wind. So breathing in as we lift up, gathering the palms together at the top, and they come down behind the head and turning the hands over so the backs of the hands come down that center line. And then around the outside of the legs, around the toes, drawing up the inside of the legs, bringing up the energy from the earth and storing it at the belly, heaven and earth. And again, breathing in, gathering, drawing down behind the head, backs of the hands along the sides of the neck, down that front line, around the outsides of the legs, around the toes, drawing up that energy from the earth and storing. And one more, so gathering the energy from the heavens and drawing it down. Backs of the hands along the sides of the neck, down that front line, around the outsides, around the toes, up the inside, and storing at the belly. And just hold the hands overlapped at the Dantian for a moment here. And we'll end with uh, radiant body breathing. So breathing in, turning the palms upward and bringing them to face the body now as we wash down, smoothing out all the energy lines, sending any extra energy down through the legs, through the feet to the earth. Breath in and washing down. And just see what you notice about the energy in the palms, the energy between the, the body and the palms again. So the palms can almost like scan down the energy body, just smoothing it out. And... And our last one. And then the energy all the way down through the soles of the feet to the earth. And we'll end with our bow and blessings. Thank you all. Lovely to be with you. So much uh, energy I can feel from doing this with people instead of just standing in my yard all by myself. <laughs> Thank you for being my playmates. So, yeah, and everybody online, so good to see you. And so hopefully we'll get to see you all next week. <laughs> Take good care, everybody.